Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this particular video, I will explain the problem stock buy and sell to. So the problem is very important and asked by a lot of companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Flipkart, etc. But not just important, the problem is really interesting as well. So let me start with the problem statement. It says that you are given the cost of stock price for each day in an array price. And each day you may decide to either buy or sell the stock I at price I, right? And you can even buy and sell the stock on the same day. And your task is to find the maximum profit that you can get. Okay, one note is given here. It says that you can only hold one stock at a time. And when it says one stock, then it's actually talking about the quantity of the stock, right? So one input is given here. Let me explain this example. So we are given the data of four days. On the first day, the price was 3, on the second day, the price was 4, on the third day, the price was 1, and on the last day, the price was 5, right? This is the prices array given to us. Now, for this array, what I can do is, I can buy the stock on the first day, and then I will sell this particular stock on the second day, right? This is going to give us the profit of 1. After this, I can again buy the stock on the third day, and then I can sell the same stock on the last day, and this will give me the profit of 4. So if I add up all the profits, then the total profit will be uh, 5, right? So 5 is going to be the output for this example. Now let me take one more example. So let's say for this example, we have uh, 3 days, right? And for the first day, the stock price was 8, then 3, and then 5. Okay, then 5, right? Fine. So for this example, I can't do something like I can uh, purchase the stock on the first day and then I can sell on the second day right because this is not going to give us the profit because you can see that the price is uh, like lower than the price of first day so for this example what I will do is I will buy the stock on the first day and I will sell the same stock on the same day and this is something which is allowed to us right it says that you can even buy and sell the stock on the same day so of course this is going to give us the profit zero but this is something which is optimal way and now after this I can buy uh, the stock on the second day and sell the same stock on the third day and this is going to give us the profit of 2 right so the net profit that we will have is 2 here this is the most optimal way of uh, buying and selling the stock so this is the answer for this particular example now I hope you have understood the problem well so let's talk about the solution now uh, okay so in order to explain the solution let me take another example so let's say I have 8 days in total and the data which is given to us is uh, we have 20, then 30, then 40. After this I have uh, 10, then 50, then 15, then 90 and then at last 80, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 days. Now what I'll do is I'll try to plot the graph for this particular data and the graph will be of a price versus our uh, days, right? So let me take uh, a line here. Okay, now uh, let me draw a line. So I'll draw a line uh, like this. And this particular uh, vertical axis is going to give us uh, the price, right? And this particular horizontal axis is going to give us the uh, days. Okay, now how many days we have? We have eight days. So let me write one, two, three, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, right? Okay, so mm, just do not do not consider here days uh, which is written here. So I have written the days. After this, I'll write the price here. So I have 20, then 30, then 40, then I have uh, 50, then 60, then 70, then 80 and then 90. This is how the price is written here. Okay, now let me plot the points. So for the first day, we have a uh, the price is 20 right so the price is 20 here after for the second day we have the price as 30 for the third day we have the price as 40 right and suddenly after uh, day 3 the price start dropping so the price becomes uh, 10 here so 10 will be something at this point right and after this the price becomes 50 again so for day 5 we have the price as 50 50 is here right after this the price becomes 15 so 15 is something between 10 and 20 which is let's say here right so this is for 15 and after this on day 7 the price becomes 90 so 90 will be the topmost point and on the day 8 the price becomes 80 
something here okay so now let me start connecting these points so i'll start connecting these points like this uh okay let me connect these two points as well okay so this is the graph that we have this is the uh, change in price of uh, like stock with respect to this so this is going to help us a lot in order to understand the intuition how see here on the first day the price was 20 right and i have purchased the stock at the price 20 after this i can see that the price is increasing right price is increasing increasing till this point so at this point i need to sell my stock i will sell this stock right and this is price 40 so this is how we are and even this is how the real market works we are given a graph like this and we have to analyze when we have to buy and when we have to uh, like sell in order to get the maximum profit right so this problem is very uh, much related to the real life problems now what i can do is this particular area is going to give me the profit of 20 so i have the initial profit as 20 for the first part for the second part uh, I will buy the stock at this point right this is the point let me change the color in order to explain better so let me take blue color now i will buy the stock at this point then i will sell the stock at this particular point right this is going to give us uh, the profit as you can see here the price is 10 at this point and 50 right so 50 minus 10 is 20. after this i can again the buy uh, like i can again buy the price at this point and then i can sell the price at this point right uh, okay, not price. It's actually stock. So this way I will be able to get the profit of 15 minus 90 or 90 minus 15. This is the profit. So 90 minus 15 is nothing but 75, right? So let me write 75 here. And after this, for the last day, you can see that I have only one value. So I can buy and sell the stock on the same day. And this is going to give me zero profit. So it is like not considering the last value, right? Okay. So this is going to give me the total profit of 135. Now I hope you have got the intuition. Whenever we buy a stock, then we look for the local maxima in order to sell the stock, right? And whenever we have the local maxima, then we just sell the stock and add the profit. So this is how we are going to solve the problem. Showing you the approach. So you can see that this is the approach. I treat over all the elements of the array. Then if you have not purchased, okay. So if you have not purchased any stock, so you have to buy one, right? This is what I have to read right here. After this, the step three says that if local maxima is reached, then sell the stock and add the profit. And at last you need to return the profit, right? So this is what we are doing here. And how we are going to implement this, this is very important part. So what we will do is we will iterate over all the values, right? And let's say I'm at this point. So initially my buy value is like false or I will say minus one. Minus one says that uh, I have not purchased any stock. So let me purchase this particular stock. This is going to give me the buy value is 20, right? After this, I'll see that the price is increasing, right? Price is greater than the initial price. After this, again, the price is greater than initial price. But at this point, you can see that the price is not greater, right? So I have to uh, buy, I have to sell the stock at this point. And selling the stock simply means uh, like price of I, so let's say I'm at this particular point and I saw uh, that the price will decrease on the next day, right? This is like prediction. So I'll sell the stock at the current day. So this is price I minus pi, right? And this will give me the profit of 40 minus 20, which is uh, 20, right? So I have to add it to the profit. So I will have a variable profit and I'll simply add the profit to the variable. So this is going to give me the answer at last, this particular variable, right? Now, we have to do uh, something like this. After this, again, uh, my buy will become minus one. Whenever I sell the stock, then buy becomes minus one. This part is uh, for selling, right? How we sell a particular stock, adding the profit, then making buy equals to minus one. And after this, again, we will see that, okay, I have not purchased the stock. So buy value is minus one. So I have to purchase the current stock. So I'll make buy value as 10 again, right? And this is how we moved here. You can see here that buy value now will become 10. Then again, we will look for the uh, local maxima. I'll come here. Then I will see that, okay, price is lower after this. This means that price is decreasing here. So I have to uh, sell the stock, right? Let me, uh, okay. So after this, again, I'll sell this stock and then I will come to this point. And then at this point, again, I will buy the stock at 15. Then I'll sell at 90, right? This is how I'm going to do. So can we write the pseudocode for this? Let's try to write the pseudocode. 
okay so what i'll do is let me change the color first now uh, let me make a variable first which is going to be by and initially equal to minus one fine after this i'll make another variable which is profit this is going to give me the answer and initially it is equal to zero right okay after this what i can do is uh, i can start a loop so for i equals to zero and i is smaller than n and then i plus plus this loop is going to iterate over all the elements in the uh, array prices so inside this uh, loop what i'll do is i'll first check one thing that hey if i have buy any stock or not right so i'll check if my buy is equal to minus one this means that i have not purchased any stock so i have to purchase the current stock right so i'll do buy equals to uh prices of i right this is how i can buy a stock buy value has changed now after this i'll check one more thing and this is very important condition because this is going to check the local maxima right how if i'm at uh, a position i so let's say i'm here okay so let's say i'm here and i saw that the next value is something which is smaller than the current value right so this is the local maximum so i have to check uh, using this formula so i'll check that if my prices of prices of i uh, plus 1 i plus 1 is smaller than uh, prices of i right prices of i so this means that i have reached the local maxima at position i and before checking this particular thing i need to check if i plus 1 is a valid index so i'll check that if i is smaller than n minus 1 right because if i is equal to n minus uh, okay so because if i is equal to n minus 1 then i plus 1 will be uh, something which is not valid right you can even uh, write this condition as uh, let me remove this you can even write if i plus 1 is smaller than n this is also valid condition right so after this just after this what i need to do is i need to sell this stock at this point right and how to sell this stock selling this stock i have already explained here i need to do these two particular steps right so i'll write guys uh, i'll write here profit uh, plus equals to prices of i uh, minus pi right this is what i can do and just after selling the stock uh, i'll write buy equals to minus one because i don't have any current uh, stock that i have purchased right okay and after this uh, i need to check one more condition and this condition is very important the condition says that uh, if i have reached the last point and uh, okay so let me write here and let me remove this particular thing so the condition says that uh, let me explain the condition let's say i have the price as one two three four so you can see that i have purchased the stock here then i just keep checking and i have the local uh, like i don't have reached the local maximum right this is the local maximum and i can't check here right i can't check for this so how i will come to know that this is the local maximum this is the point so i will say that if i have purchased a stock and i'm at the last point then i need to sell that stock right and this is going to give me the profit four minus one I hope you understand this because for the last point we are not able to check uh, this particular condition why because I am checking this thing right so I will say that else if uh, again back to red color right so I will check that else if uh, my i is equal to n minus 1 right and and i is equal to n minus 1 and by is not equal to minus 1 so buy is not equal to minus one this means that i have purchased some stock so again i need to do this particular step here so i'll write profit uh, plus equals to same thing prices of i minus buy buy and then buy equals to minus one doesn't matter because this is going to be the last step right because my i is equal to n minus one so this is how we can solve the problem and at last we just need to return uh, the profit so you can write here uh, return profit whatever you write right so this is the whole pseudocode for solving the problem at last if i write the com time complexity then the time complexity will be o of n right and the space complexity will be o of 1 because i'm not using any extra space and i'm just iterating over one loop right so this is how we can solve the problem now let me show you the code let me show you the code 
so here is the code you can see that i have written the c++ code on the left hand side and python and java code on the right hand side so you can see that how i am solving the problem i have done the same thing that i have explained in pseudo code i am uh, iterating over all the elements then if my by is equal to minus 1 then i have to buy the current stock right and after this I need to check this condition. This condition is for local maxima and this condition is for the last element because I will not be able to check the last element due to this condition right inside this. So uh, talking about the Java code. So this is the Java code which is exactly same as the C++ code right and this is the Python code. Uh, just that there, there is a uh, change in syntax uh, rest the approach is going to be same right. So this is all about this video. I hope you guys like the explanation. If you like the explanation then you can hit the like button and if you are new here then you can subscribe the channel. Thank you.